everyone so I'm here to do a really quick video today I know I just put a haul up but I wanted to get this out there because I did go shopping for the Sephora VIB sales so I wanted to share the goodies that I got with you guys it's not a lot but I still wanted to share it with you guys so without further ado let's jump in so the first thing that I picked up in the sale was the Sephora super waterproof eye makeup remover I've mentioned this to you guys before I absolutely love this stuff it removes the makeup so thoroughly and it's so gentle and it just completely takes off my eye makeup so I absolutely love it holy grail literally the next thing I picked up is the Sephora color switch by Vera Mona I hear a lot of people talk about this and I wanted it because sometimes I'm doing my makeup and I gotta like run back and forth to get like a blending brush or whatever when I'm switching colors so I figured this would be amazing when I'm doing my makeup right on the spot I could just pass my brush through this and I don't have to like use so many makeup brushes because then I'm like oh my god look at all these brushes that I have to clean so this is an amazing invention thank you Vera Mona for creating this and I can't wait to use this it's also perfect for travel so I'm really excited that I have this in my collection now and yeah I also picked up this beautiful nail polish by nails ink and it is in the color does this have a color I don't know it doesn't look like it has a color but if I can find it online I'll definitely link it down below but it says that this nail polish is breathable it's formulated to be six free which I don't know what that means and it loves your nails back so it looks like it doesn't harm your nails which is awesome so I'm really excited to use it and I usually don't gravitate towards colors like this but I just figured it's so beautiful it's like a perfect periwinkle color and it's gonna be perfect for the spring and summer I'm so excited and look at how gorgeous it is guys okay next two things are lip liners they are by the Sephora brand and it is the contour rouge gel lip liners I swatched this in store and they were so creamy guys of course it's a gel formula so it feels really creamy I figured this would be so perfect under liquid lipsticks since it's a gel formula I'm hoping that you know it'll I'll put it all over my lips and it won't make the liquid lipstick so drying you know what I mean so I'm really excited for these so I picked up this one which is a nude color and it is in the name the nudist and I picked up a brown one in the color molasses and this is so gorgeous guys oh I also picked up the Anastasia brow definer in soft brown I just couldn't hold back I was like oh my god I don't have it my brow was is almost done so I figured hey you know what it's a good investment I have 15% off so why not just get it now and this packaging guys is just life rose gold just sells me every single time I love when packaging has rose gold on it it's just like I'm sold so I'm pretty sure that you guys have seen what this looks like before it's just the typical pencil that's what it looks like and then the only difference it has a spoolie on one end and the only difference is the actual applicator here it is in a triangle shape it makes it easier to just define your brows so we shall see how this works also from Anastasia I picked up two lip glosses I've never tried their lip glosses but when I went in store and swatched them I was like girl that is pigmentation right there I love me a very pigmented lip gloss I don't really like sheer lip glosses I feel like it's pointless for that I'll just put lip balm on so but if I'm buying a new lip gloss it needs to have high pigmentation I'm rambling the two colors that I picked up are undressed which is a beautiful nude color I don't have any nudes that are so pigmented like this lip gloss that's what it looks like it is absolutely stunning they're so creamy so pigmented and I'm so happy I picked this up the other color that I picked up is in the name Tara and I can't even describe this but it is like a reddish brown nude oh my god just look at that guys I can't wait to use this in the summer it's just gonna be like my go-to brown lip gloss I'm obsessed I also wanted to pick up a coral color I saw it in store but I couldn't make up my mind I'm like am I gonna use this am I not am I into bright lip glosses still I didn't know and now that I didn't pick it up I'm kind of regretting it but I can always pick it up later on and the last three things that I picked up in Sephora are the new Too Faced melted liquid lipsticks I'm so excited so these launched this past Saturday today's the 13th so I got them like brand spanking new when they were in store and I was like oh my god they have all the colors so let me take advantage of it right now 
So I picked up three. The first one I picked up, obviously, I picked up the brown one. It is Naughty by Nature. And I love that because I think there was a group called Naughty by Nature back in the days. And yeah, I just love like cute names. And Too Faced packaging is just like, yes, girl. I love it. And I really like these because they don't smell like that intense chocolate. I didn't buy the other ones, the melted... Oh my god, what are they called? I don't know, the ones that are in the tube. I'll insert a picture here. I didn't pick those up because I was in store and I loved this one color. But the smell was so overwhelming. I'm not a person that likes the smell of chocolate. I love the taste of it, but to smell it all day on my lips was going to be way too overwhelming for me. So I didn't pick those up. So when I saw these, I was so excited. So this is what the packaging looks like. It is very pretty. It has like a triangle shape and then it has gold at the top and it's just like I'm in love the other color that I picked up is in the name sellout and it is like a pinky brown I love this color this is actually the first one that I picked up and I was like yes give it to me right now so that's what it looks like I feel like I can never have enough lipsticks and the last one that I picked up is in the name cool girl and oh my god guys they say that this is the dupe for Celebrity Skin by Jeffree Star. And I actually saw it swatched side by side and it looks identical. So I'm so happy because I wanted Celebrity Skin but it's always sold out. So I found this one and I'm so excited. I'm so happy. Okay, so that's what I picked up at the Sephora VIB sale. And I just wanted to share a few more things that I just picked up randomly like MAC, CVS. And that's about it, I think. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to show you guys really quick. I got my MAC World Lipstick in the mail. And I'm pretty sure you guys know what this looks like. I love this color. It just goes perfect with my skin tone. Okay, I also picked up the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. I had to change my color because the number 5 was actually for people with pink undertones. And I could actually see it like right here when I was putting my foundation. I could see the difference in color. Like this part would look really pinky. And I was like, girl, my undertones are nowhere near pink. I am very warm and golden under. So... I had to switch the color, so I picked up Sand Beige in the number 6. I'm hoping this matches better. I swatched it in my hand, and it looks like a pretty good match, so we shall see when I put it on my face. I did use this foundation, and it is stunning. And I have dry skin, so you guys let me know if you want me to do a full review on this. I'm literally obsessed with this foundation. It is going to be my go-to all the time. It's just... It's just stunning. I'm obsessed. So the next thing that I picked up at Walgreens is a facial spray. I had never seen this. Um, I was just browsing through the skincare aisle. And I always like to look at skincare because I like to look for affordable skincare that works. So I saw this and I was very intrigued. I mean, look at this bottle. It looks like a perfume. It's glass okay the smell is kind of weird because it reminds me of a floor cleaner i don't know if you guys know but it's the purple fabuloso the lavender one i think but i mean lavender doesn't stink and i don't mind the i don't mind the smell actually okay so this spray is called in light super face it says it heightens awareness anytime beauty refresher that's what sold me because i was like oh my god i love sprays that awaken me and make my skin feel alive so it says it instantly energizes, stimulates, and refreshes, tones, and hydrates. So I'm really excited. This contains coconut water, peppermint oil, and cucumber extract. I was sold. Completely sold. And I've used it a few times and I'm actually in love with it. It really does awaken your skin and it makes you feel like... Oh my god, I'm so awake, so I highly recommend this. If you guys haven't seen this before, check your nearest CVS. They might carry it. Just look through, like, the skincare. It was where, like, L'Oreal, the higher-end skincare is. Go through there and check for this. This is what the box looks like. I'm so excited. I found this and picked this up, so, yes. And the last thing I picked up is the Ardell Wispies in the number 600. I was on the hunt for these. I was going to order them online, but I was like, you know what? They're brand new, so they'll bring them in store eventually. So I picked them up because they remind me of the Salon Perfect Lashes in the number 615. But you can never find those in Walmart. Those are unicorn lashes. I'm not playing. You can never find those. So these are very, very similar to those. 
So I figured, why not just pick those up? I was going to pick up more than one, but I was like, let me try them in my eye first and see if I like them. Now I know where to find them. I picked up another pack of lashes, and this is the Salon Perfect in the number 614. And they say when you find these lashes, buy them all. So there was only two left, so I picked both of them up. I was so excited. These lashes are freaking gorgeous. And this entire pack was only eight. $8.48 or $8.99 something like that guys and it brings one two three four five lashes for eight dollars guys you can't go wrong if you find these buy every single one of them because you never know when you're gonna find them again so I'm so excited I found these and that's definitely the last thing I picked up so I hope you guys enjoyed this haul I love you all if you haven't subscribed make sure you do and hit that thumbs up button I will see you guys in my next video really quickly before I leave if you guys have any requests leave me your ideas down below so that I can get inspired and start filming more I've been trying to be consistent I hope you guys noticed but it's a little different difficult with a baby so no excuses I'm here I hope you guys enjoy bye guys love you